Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys come in here. Oh my god, will my dog shut up? Thank you. I don't know what my dog is growling about, but basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and basically, what we're gonna be doing is uh, chat decides what I do, so you guys could completely screw me over if you wanted me to. If you wanted to, make a '90s Honda Civic competitor. I thought I did that already, but it was the uh, the Norikura R. I don't know. I'll I'll do it. So, I guess we're making a. Civic competitor. I'm gonna use this body. I don't know why my dog's mad. I don't know why she's mad. Alright. I. Make comparable to the SR Type R trim. You're quite literally telling me to recreate the Norikura R. But okay. So, what panel material should I use? What does that mean? What, partial aluminum? Corrosion resistant steel? Carbon fiber? Why is my dog barking? Hold on. Corrosion resistant steel, okay. Uh, monocoque, uh, I guess corrosion resistant steel, this thing is to be entirely made out of steel. So front transverse or front longitudinal? Transverse. Then I, I don't know how you want this section set up. But I'm going to guess McPherson and then torsion beam or a semi trailing arm. Yeah, a setup, a semi trailing arm. 
All right, so we already know how this works, so we're just gonna call this the uh, quote unquote Honda stuff. So Honda engine 1.6 because why not? And uh, V Tech, are you happy now? The, it's gonna be the ultimate VTech mobile. It's gonna have little stroke and it's gonna be all bore. VTech. Sounds like like medication. Oh wait, it's 1995. It has to be cast iron. Whoops. We're gonna add VVL because that's the that's the VTEC system. Obviously, this, th uh, this, this, this. Obviously this because a race car and this. Do five valves per cylinder? What am I, Volkswagen? There you go, five valves per cylinder. Then, we're gonna just gonna, and because uh, it's a Honda, it needs a quote unquote race tubular exhaust and just wide diameter exhaust because it needs to be big obviously because it's a honda it has no mufflers at all it's just pretty much straight piped and then because it's a honda it must it must rev high so we're gonna make it rev to all the way to 10,000 RPMs. And then we're just gonna raise the cam profile. And we're just gonna do this because Honda, like, look, it, 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 it's powerful for 1.6, but it has no torque. Wow. You guys can probably hear the pain in my voice when, when you see this being made. Oh boy. We're, we're gonna we're gonna knock that quality up because we need we need loud. We need loud. We need we need the most advanced timing ever. Who are you talking to? I'm live streaming. Okay, so you see max power, that's at 8,700 RPMs. We have no power. We don't even cross 100 horsepower until we're almost at five grand. Hmm, torque, yes, it makes none. You guys wanna hear, you guys wanna hear the four cylinder? Yes, let's just Oh wait It can't have catalytic converters because we're a stupid teenager and we wanted more loud. Can't you tell? Mom, I, I, I need more, I need more loud for my Honda Civic. It, it needs to sound badass for all the cool kids. Oh my God. 
So we we just have a non we don't even have a road legal car at this point. It's already ruined. So here, here's that hatchback. <laughs> oh god, this poor thing. I'm good. We'll do this for a hatchback. No, we're not doing a coupe. It must be a hatchback. Obviously a coupe. The coupe looks beautiful. So because it's a Honda, it has to be front wheel drive, automatic, four speed. It must have an open differential. I'm kidding. We're going to give it a manual and a five speed. And we're going to, and it needs sport compound tires because it, it just needs it. It's a Honda. It's a, it's a it's sporty. And then this. SI means sports car. No, SI stands for slow iridocyclitis. There we go. No under tray, so that means if we scrape, we scrape hard. Uh, we just have a bench back here. Uh, obviously sporty seats and because it's a type R it needs to have no entertainment seriously idiotic yes this car right here look how it <laughs> it's gonna be seriously idiotic this is the one car that you would wake up to in the morning and just be utterly pissed off at your neighbor for it needs to have no traction aids. It needs no ABS. It needs to have standard 90 safety. And just standard this and this. And because it's a Honda, it needs to be, yeah. It needs to be stupidly low. It needs to rub on quite literally everything. It needs to, it needs to scrape on every single leaf and rock on the road. And because it's because it's a it's a sports car, it needs downforce. So why not uh take this right? Take this. Whoa, Subi Subi wing. I I took it off this. This uh, Impressa that I found at the junkyard. Isn't it so cool, guys? And, and then I, I painted it. I painted it. Uh, this. I, I plasti dipped it to make it look like I have carbon fiber. It's obvious. Guys, look. It's an, it's, a, it's an Evo now. Ah, obviously, this belongs on the hood. More downforce. And because it needs more, the most downforce as possible, it's just going to be stupidly large. Yeah. So, what should we do with the lights? Should we just go full 2000s, go for that Alteza look? We're giving Alteza hub, uh, taillights now. No, no one can change my mind. What, look at me create a masterpiece with Alteza uh, taillights. So, 
obviously they need to be big because we need to first and foremost they need to be amber and red and a little bit of white because we need to show that it's a civic ex or dx it needs to be it needs to show that it's a lower trim but then we do this we just whoa it, it, it's it's a lexus now Uh oh, we might have a game crash. No. Nope. And you see now, now it's a, it it's a sports. I don't even want to say sports car. <laughs> it's just just a piece of junk that you would find on Craigslist. And then because it sparks call sparks cur yeah, and and you see this is how you uh, do Alteza headlights. You do this right, and then you put these things. And then. You make this chrome. And then. Wow. RX8 rear taillights. No. It's obviously an Alteza. Can't you tell? Can't you tell that it's a Lexus? And then, and then look, and then right here. Wow, it's so interesting. And because we need to act like. It, like, I'm causing you pain by making you make this? Yes, yes you are. It's going to be the ultimate sports car though, so I can't be mad. So, because so because we uh, this car needs to be something that it isn't, we're going to put the Hirochi badge on it. Wait, actually no, ETK. It needs to be an ETK. And we're just going to, and it's because we bought a crappy, uh, logo it's gonna be nice and big on the trunk in the rear it's just gonna stand out and because it's civic it needs to be like this it needs to be lopsided this is a this is a wonderful car Put a badge on for each brand. <laughs> what is this, the AutoZone special? Okay. First, okay. Sometimes my genius, it scares me, but watch this. Okay. Watch what I'm doing. And then we put this on, then we put, okay. Then you squish it, and then you stretch it. Wow. And then because it's, it has to be a, uh, a sports car. It has to be the elite, uh, elite. it must be from its, uh, from its uh, homeland, and we're just gonna put this. Yes, it's on its own special. It's a Civic, remember? Yeah. <laughs> no.
no. I don't even. This doesn't even look. This doesn't even remind me of a Civic now. What it, you know? You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a Toyota Chaser or a Toyota Crown Athlete, but it's just someone modified it badly. Oh well, we're gonna have to continue with this uh, because it's a uh, it's a race car. It's got to be like this. And it has to be big enough so it can fit that huge old uh, fart can. And it's got to be fake carbon fiber. But we brag that it's actual carbon fiber even though if you, if you look at it closely you can tell that it's just a very, very bad rap. Then, basically, you you get this, right? Brap, <laughs> rap, brothers. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. This is this is a masterpiece if I've seen one before. Wouldn't you agree? And then we just put it on the other side. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds there's this one channel that I used to watch on YouTube that was, uh, they went by the name of Gas Kings. And before they got taken off YouTube for, uh, you know, committing acts of crime, I remember they used to make these cringy ricer videos. And basically, there would just be a Peugeot, like, 206 or something, which just ridiculous exhaust pipes like this like it just extends out I don't even know we're just gonna do that though and it, it's, it's gonna be lovely <laughs> Sports budget, an affordable performance car with good drivability and a hint of comfort. There is no comfort in this. Comfort zero. Zero to a hundred in six point five seconds sounds right, even though in reality it's not gonna go anywhere near that. Ah, uh, six point four seconds. It's so fast, guys. So it's super, super fast. Honda Civic S I R. And comfort, yes, -ent. no. It's comfort existent because it's a Honda. It needs to have. It needs to have these crappy, tacky little stuff going on. It needs to have these in 18, 19 inch rims. Give me the carpets. I don't have them, they're right there. Now this, this is a good car to make. Are you guys are you guys happy that I put 19 inch rims on my Honda Civic? Still manages to go zero to sixty faster than my IRL car, somehow, some way.
and then you gotta move this a bit and just move that a bit there we go those are the same rooms from the Karen commander yeah how'd you know oh uh, because uh, because it's a civic I, I just realized we need to have one of these It looks like a toy car. It looks like a Hot Wheels now. I mean, isn't that just like the typical Honda Civic build that like people would try to do? They would just go like, oh man, let's just go full on 2000 just make our cars look like a toy car. Mom, why is there a spoon on the back of my car? Oh my, no. It's not a spoon, Tim. It's not. A, it's not a spoon, Jimmy. It, it's something for that the cool kids have. Don't you want to be like the cool kids? And then, basically, we're gonna have these, these stupid, quote unquote, race inspired. Uh, aftermarket mirrors that just are just made out of complete plastic. I just haven't. I, you you just plasti dip them that color. No, I want to be unrecognizable. I think anybody that drives this car would want to be unrecognizable. And because we we just have that keyless entry thing or that or we just have a fob for this thing that we bought aftermarket we just bought we uh we removed the lock thing and we just have this so half the time it doesn't even open and we have to just uh right here you just wedge a uh, a metal wire or a hanger in there and you just bam Can't you guys tell I'm having fun with this car? And then, and then right here, because we have no other place to put it, we need radio, and it needs to be a crappy uh, aftermarket one. It's an, it's a $20 Bluetooth touchscreen radio that I put in that I bought off of eBay. So, okay. I, I, think, I think we're good on the back. So, how do you guys want the front? How should we how should we attack this thing? Make it look like an Infinity G35. These are like I swear these are 350Z headlights. Okay. Okay. You ready? Oh wait. Another thing. Because it's it's crappy, it needs to have uh, fogged up over the years. And then we just have. Let's see. Oh, because it's a G35, it needs to look like a Nissan GTR. Because it's what everybody with a G35 tries to do now. They try to uh, be the ultimate poser. 
Yeah, bro, it's totally a GTR. Totally a GTR, bro. Can't you tell? It's my Honda Crown GTR. And it needs to have a stupid lip that just goes right here, right? And expand and and then right here bam ultimate g35 moment And then we just put a, uh, where are you? We put this on it because it's, it's actually from California. Nope. Hold on. Let me put my dog away before he starts barking at me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go to your room. Okay. Make it look like an Infinity G35, uh, G35 uh, confirmed for uh, re-entry from the 2000s. And then we just put these things. It's, that's just pure vomit. And bam, we have a G35. And because we're a stupid kid, we want to, uh, we, we need, we need fog lights. And uh, what's not better than, uh, borrowing them off your dad's, uh, 1992 Ford Ranger and just cut them in half. So now it's just it, like it doesn't even fit properly, but you're just rolling with it because it's like uh, I don't know, man. Oh wait, now they can fit. Wow. And then it, isn't that isn't this amazing, chat? And then we got. It. Then we just gotta put a. Uh, you gotta put a W because this is an absolute dub. Because only winners drive this car. Oh boy! If I, it's gonna be a platinum. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna get all, it's gonna get all the kids going. Oh wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh. It's, it's also part Subaru. And because it's, it, it's just, it's fake. There. Now this, this is a good car. And we gotta put an epic uh, badge right here. I don't know what badge this is from, but 
I'm sorry. <laughs> this might be uh, from that one new car from Beam and G. Uh, I, I forgot what it's called. And then it needs a big, fat, Testarossa styled side vent. And needs to be super big. Ugh, there we go. And it does nothing. Anyways, we're gonna go back to tweaking the engine and we're gonna make it rich. The engine's running too rich. Oh no. This car is the heart of an SI, the rear of a crown, the front of a 350Z slash G35 or an R35 GTR. And in Subaru, and the sights on a Testarossa. Ferrari. Enzo Ferrari is rolling in his grave. Somehow, we're running too rich. So. Uh, like, where am I going to get my pops and bangs, bro? Like, I need that in my life. And then, it's still running too rich, but we just don't care. We just raise that compression up. Oh, wow. 200 horsepower, guys. Someone really did not like their Civic's default look. So, son, I bought you this Honda Civic. Dad, I don't like it at all. It's not even it's not even a reliable engine. They just ruined it. Uh, fuel cap. Uh, what are those? We put that right here because we just what we did was we took a saw or, and. We just cut out the original one, and we put in this quote this race styled one. Even though none of them work properly, you just have to pull it out to actually pump gas. And it's super embarrassing, and, I, and my friends see it, and it just makes me feel bad. And then right here, because. It is a Honda after all. And we know how people are when it comes to Hondas. We must we must make them look cool, fast and aggressive. So we just put a lip right here. This puts absolutely no function. Somehow this is this is putting down force. None. Now it's also part BMW M3 GTR. I don't know, man. This thing has <laughs> no downforce. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's a sports car, we need no rear seats. And we, and we, we shave so much weight. Now this car will definitely be fast against that V6 Mustang that keeps pissing me off at school. Uh, we're gonna call this the... Hoyo... The Hoyo-san GTL. And we're gonna, and we're gonna put it, and we're gonna call it Cool Kid Mobile. And because it's a cool kid car, it needs to have a very, very flashy color. So what's like, like what's like not better than just become a highlighter?
and then we, we just put this and then and, and then wow this is the, this this is the car I'm gonna see whenever I have sleep paralysis now oh wait 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 I forgot we need we need to have a we need to respray the calipers they they're they can't be red they need to be orange and not even a good orange it just looks like poo okay uh, I think we're done here. Need a great cheese. Be careful with the cheese grater. Okay. So, <laughs> 1,100 kilograms. Now we do this. Now we now we're talking big boy status. We just shaved extra weight. Now it's a track car. And then we need to uh, have a sports setup. The dampers need to be as hard as possible. So you see this? The dampers are just gonna be stupid hard. It's just gonna ride horribly. Bam. Super stiff suspension element. The game doesn't even know what to do. It's just like, okay, act normal, act normal. Okay, and now we're just gonna export this to Beam and G and just pray that it exports properly. Okay. Oh, I don't like this car. All the tears that you'd see, this is all in the name of weight reduction, bro. Like, you don't even know that life. Like, it's just weight reduction. Oh, my dog is, my dog is just, is just laying down right next to me. And, to, and he's absorbed. Okay, it's exporting everything. Quickest export ever. How long did we, we didn't even spend a long time on this. We just spent like 40 minutes. I usually spend like more, I usually spend like more than an hour. And somehow, some way I just managed to like crop it down. Like, to where I can make like a half an hour video, at most. Ah. It's done. The game might crash, so it might not be just like, ha ha ha, no. Yeah, we had a game crash. So. Automation.
Uh, let's just close it out and we can boot up Demon G. There we go. Mm, yes, beam and G drive. Beam and G drive me off a cliff, please. Okay, we need to see if the car actually exported. Uh, please. Oh boy, it's here. Oh God. Okay. Okay. So now we go to here. We go to free room. And we. Uh, I guess we go to Classic River Side Expressway. Because it has a decent town and gives you decent FPS. And we just have a crappy car on crappy graphics. And everybody just has a bad time. Does that sound fun, chat? Does that sound fun, chat? Okay, Beam and G is. Beam and G might actually die. This is gonna be funny. It's gonna refuse to want to load in because it's like, nope, I already know what's going on. Oh, never mind. Maybe it wants to uh, be tortured with a crappy car. Oh, oh no, my, my Mitsubishi, my, the good car that I made.
Yes. Actually, we might go to Baja Hills just for just for FPS reasons. And because uh, obviously this car would would definitely be in Need for Speed Pro Street and we already know how Nevada is on Pro Street. It, it's got hills and it's got a lot of death in it. I love, I love, I love this car. Can't you guys tell? My brain cells are dying. Ah! There we go. Ugh. That's enough uh, driving of my thousand horsepower Evo. Yes, it has a thousand horsepower. So, uh, Remember when that uh remember remember when that one YouTube rewind where they dedicated it like a section to Fortnite? Yeah, this is this is uh basically that this is a definition of of that YouTube rewind where they had that where they had Fortnite in it. Oh, wait, it's a Honda. Uh, crap, Honda. inch rims all right now we need to test this Okay, so the indicators work. So uh, time to go down the cool area. Oh, it actually managed to get air. Oh. Imagine hitting a rock and this happens. <laughs> Why? Oh, man, this car. This is the ultimate car for your kid. Don't 
Don't you know it drifts as well? Oh wait, we need to do a two-step launch. My my civic. It got ruined. I I put it. I, I went to. Why? The more I drive, the more I like it. Like I could be like crazy car right now that's actually decent but no I'm actually it's like this is this is my creation so basically what I'm gonna do is It's got an air. Oh. It, it's so... It's so wonderful. It, it's like... Gliding. Maybe it's because it generates lift. Instead of downforce. It's just like, ha ha, I'm gonna fly. Maybe. Maybe I'm an idiot. I think that's true. Oh no, we're, we're rolling down the hill. We're rolling down the hill. We got four backwards. Alright, guys, we're taking it down to a canyon run. Quote unquote, we're just gonna race down this this old road. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We boys, we lost control, we lost control, and we're gonna recover in this epic drift. Jesus Christ, dude. I didn't mean to do that. But that was actually that was actually pretty cool. Oh boy, understeer. And speed. You gotta remember, I am speed. We are reaching, we are we exceeded 100 miles per hour in my Honda. Oh boy, oh, oh, oh no. We are slowing down. Oh. Oh, oh, 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> We're doing so well. Okay, we need to do like an actual loop of this. We need we need to just go like full on like like we need to go like full on racer mode. So we got we gotta we gotta go as fast as we can. Fastest uh fastest run ever. Oh boy. Oh we're gonna make it to ourselves. Making replicas. Oh boy, we're gonna recreate it to herself. Oh, 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 understeer. Death. A tattoo. I love how, like, it just bounces off a bit. Like, when you, when it, when you just, like, launch and shift it. Fast. We gotta break the. But then again, we need to go fast. Oh, oh boy, slow down, slow down. And. This map is actually pretty big. Dead. Okay, you know what? We 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 all survive. The Honda still moves. Go Honda. Say screw the other wheel and uh, just go one wheel and uh, one wheel and we're we're actually doing it well somehow some way it handles nicely.
I don't know where we're at, but, uh... until the thing dies. Civic, be strong. There we go, we gotta, we gotta just clutch kick. We gotta clutch kick. So, Civic be done. So, Civic wrecked. So, we're gonna close that out. And we're just gonna open up automation. So, I guess we are doing this again. So we need to make a Boyota Bercel. <clears throat> so Toyota Tercel, that's basically what we're just going to be doing now. So, oh boy. What if we just took a VW, uh, a, okay, so 4E FTE and all wheel drive. What if I just took a Volkswagen Polo body and it just made it look like a Tercel? <laughs> no, it must be Tercel body. It ain't no hatch. Have you even seen the polo body? There's multiple variants. Uh oh. We might have a game crash already. No, we don't. Congratulations. So because it's, it, it 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 has to be the most it has to be the most perfect car ever. We need to put it in twenty twenty. So where's that VW Lupo or Polo body?
That's a pusho body. I don't want a pusho. Yeah, what yeah, have you have you not seen the sedan body? Who got? No, it's Pajo. So, uh, right here. So, so it, it needs to be the best car ever. So, carbon fiber, monocon, carbon fiber, front transverse, double wishbone, push rod. Bump that quality up, boys. And then we just. We just gotta see, uh, I don't know how, I don't know what the 4 EFT thing is, so let's see. So we got, oh, it's actually a small engine. So, we're just, gonna, we're just, just for modernizing, we're just gonna make it dual overhead cam, four valve, 74 by 70, that's, that's small. Okay. Aluminum head. Billet steel, lightweight titanium. Has to be best car ever. Fine, you want a cast iron block? Okay, let's let's like not shave weight. <laughs> I was already dual red cam. Okay, now, see now we put a big fat turbo, as much boost as possible. It must be direct injection because it's 2020. And we just we just put a modern Toyota thing on it, right? And it's got to be on ultimate fuel. And it must rev to 12,000 RPMs. No bypass valves, needs a cat. No big fat turbo? Okay. <laughs> it couldn't handle the, it couldn't handle the RPM. And, and then right here, you just bump that quality up. Most advanced timing ever because it needs to be responsive. It needs to be VVT. Bump that quality up. And we got a very fuel efficient car. Performance tune and bam. We got a we got a modernized engine. We're just gonna put on super fuel and we're just gonna make it a little bit richer. So it can run on regular. And then we're just gonna raise the compressor a bit. Just make it a little bit bigger. And then alright. 
there. Boost. There we go. 242 horsepower. <laughs> the turbo's gonna do like a big fat spool. Yeah, look, isn't this like Tercel enough for you? I don't know which body is the Tercel. I'm just gonna do this, this, this. This is 100% not a Tercel by. That looks nothing like a Tercel. Fine. Which body looks like a Tercel then? Does this one look like, like a like a boy to Brazil? Look at nineties bodies. Those are the 90s bodies. So I'll communicate the exact one. No, that's why I chose the polo body. It's gonna be a polo. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we can move stuff. We can't move a lot. That's it. And there we go. And then it's gonna have vented brakes, four piston, this, uh, uh, m most brakes as possible. It needs an under tray. No rear seats, it unexist. Sport, S standard infotainment, no power steering, ABS. Basic 2000 safety. And there. There's your Toyota Tercel. <laughs> oh, wait, we gotta. Uh oh. You might have made. So you might. You, you might have been a, like a complete genius and did something wonderful. So we're just gonna, oh yeah. Don't call me a dingus, I'm the one building this friggin' car. To the scrapper goes, but oh my god, 51.1 miles per gallon. 205's all around because why not? We need that extra grip, boy. Uh, 15 inch rims. Lower that boy, aka give it sport tune suspension, and we're just gonna lower it a little bit. Your compressor and turbine wants to. No, they don't. They work perfectly fine. 
You don't know what you're talking about. Can't you tell by the reliability? It's somehow it's somehow comfortable. We have made a complete sleeper today, chat. Three point three seconds zero to sixty. If we put a dual clutch, it'll go to three point two. But we're gonna go well I think three point three is perfectly fine. I don't know how Tercel looks. So we're just gonna do this. This is my version of one. Okay. And then it needs to have a round indicator. to have a rounded thing. I will punish you for this unholy abomination. Please. This is this is punishment already. So then we uh, put this. Doesn't this look like a Toyota now? But then we uh, but instead of this chrome, let's put there we go. However. Uh, it's a Toyota. <laughs> We're just going to put a Bishu logo. Bam. It's unholy, but uh, it's very fast. This is the definition of a go kart. Just to make it a little bit lighter all around. This is all in the name of making it lighter and just an ultimate, ultimate rocket. Bam. Look at this. Safety, not important. Let's actually just remove that.
totally a Tercel. And the bumpers must be red. Okay, uh, this is a time for uh, Google, so let's I'm just using Google Chrome because why not? Okay. 1995? No, we're going 1987. Okay. Ah, RCR. <laughs> this, this one right here, you know what this looks like? This is the face you'd make when the teacher calls on you, but you didn't even raise your hand. And the worst part is, the teacher knows you don't know, but they're like, you know what, why not? Hey kid, answer this question for me. Uh, um, uh. Okay. So, it needs to have this... Split thing. Can we just do like an aftermarket front bumper? Please, let's just do an aftermarket front bumper that just makes it look like, like a Toyota Chaser almost. <laughs> this brings me pain. <laughs> oh no, I hate this so very much. Okay. Okay. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this. This brings me pain? Yeah, this brings everybody pain. That's it. We're not doing it. We're not doing that kind of front bumper. It just, ugh. I just don't like it. We're gonna do this. Okay, wait. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> now this is now this is a this is a mighty fine build right here. No. So okay, bear with me. But look, look. Think about it. And Chasser. Can we just do like this kind of front bumper? Like I think it would look a whole lot cleaner. 
I'm banning you to the forever. Okay. This is pain. This is the face of pain. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's okay. We're making, we're gonna make this like. We're gonna make this like kind of like an aftermarket look, but it's still gonna look clean. So basically, we're just gonna do this. No, that will remain chrome. This will go red. Okay. You ready? You ready for this one, chat? And then. How about this? But like... Nope. Okay, so let's make a compromise. Is this good? Just uh, put a Is this good? I think this is good for me. Rihanna. Oh. Okay. Are we good? All right, good. It's working now. I don't know what happened there, but something happened and it wasn't good and fixed it. Okay. So I think because it is a turbocharged car, I believe, like, kind of like an air duct going on would be nice, right? Like, like not like something crazy, but like, but like like this, right? But you shrink it a bit, and you put it right here, and it's functional. It's retro. Oh yeah, and it's actually yeah, it's actually functional. You can tell by seeing that right there. Uh, see. See through. So that will be going in to the engine. Um Okay, there we go. Uh how do we want to address the back? Oh boy. Yoo hoo cool. Oh dear. Oh boy. So Toyota Tercel rear. 
Yes, it's all wheel drive. How do you think and it, and it goes zero to a hundred kilometers per hour in three point two seconds? I'm not joking. Two point nine matter of fact. I might be stupid, but I'm not dummy. Okay, I'll be honest though, I like this rear end more. I, I personally like that rear end more than this one. But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. I like the front. I like the front end of the fifth gen, but fourth gen rear, I prefer that more. Okay, so we got body molding right here, and it's not going to be completely accurate, but but look. Okay. And then Bam. This is like you know, this looks like something that like someone with like a four door polo would do actually. Just like I don't like the front end of my Volkswagen, so I'm gonna make it like look like a Toyota. So, hmm. This is very cursed. I think any build that I've made today has been has been cursed. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, so I, I, I think bear with me we're okay. So bear with me. Okay. Okay. Raise it a little bit. Wish it a little bit. And we're just gonna put. It. I don't know what this is. Oh, yes. This is to blind all the people that try to uh, fall. That uh, try to tailgate me. Look, Mom, I own a Civic now. Mom, look at look my Toyota turned into a Honda Civic. Okay, and then just <laughs> the shoe logo right there. This is the best car ever. You you try to argue with me, and I'll I'll put I'll put your statements. I'll shove them right back into your mouth. This is this is the best build ever. See, it's got like a little it's got a little lip. Uh, I I don't hear me out. The front low key reminds you of a Toyota Sarah now. We're just gonna put these nice rims on it. Uh, oh crap, the offset. Uh, 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 uh.
There we go. So you see, totally custom car. Uh, we're gonna paint it blue. How does that look? How does sapphire blue look? Decent enough. Okay. You've lost. You've lost faith. I, this. There's no way I can turn this build around, can I? So, I'm sorry that I ruined this car for you. <laughs> this is a genuine apology. And then, at least, okay, okay. Oh. Um, we're not using that now. Okay. But hear me out. Okay. We need to go. It's 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 a. Uh, okay. Okay. Would you like like a rear diffuser kind of thing going on, like right like this? But just have it be like clean. I think that would actually look. I think that would look decent. But then, but like, look, okay. I don't know what. Okay. This is a cutaway. There we go. I'm just gonna lower this down to right here. Go ahead. This isn't a torso anymore, anyways. It. I can still make this decent. Got a cool boy uh, blue accent. And then the bumper bars. I'm sorry that I disappointed you with this build. Yeah, at least it looks, at least it has a. <laughs> Some stuff. It's it, it it decent now. Uh, do we need door handles and a mirror? We need mirrors. What what mirrors does a Tercel even have? I don't know what's worse, the build or that. But I want to say that's worse. Turd cell XD. That's what you just want me to do, right? You just want to go XD. How dare you? Okay. We got mirrors, we got, uh, we got, uh, 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 door handles. Uh, there we go. This is, uh,
This is what you get. Where's the Hollywood laugh track? Wait, did I did I not make this? Obviously a twenty valve. No, I'm kidding. Okay. This is what happens. I this is. This is just life. We're going to take this around Baja Hills again. But maybe it, maybe it will have some pops and uh, crackles, but we don't know that. But you know, we can wish. Everybody usually some people like a little bit of cracks and pop uh, cracks and popples. Okay. Some people like pop. Some people like pops and crackles. If it's subtle, then it's good. But if you just make it sound like a gunshot, you're just stupid. I don't know which mic is which, so. Okay, it is my, my snowball. Finishing an export. Come on, give me an export. <laughs> EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay. Maybe he just doesn't want to admit that it's done exporting, so we're just going to close it out. Do, 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 do. Beam. NG. Okay. <laughs> Beam and G fun. Beam and G drive free. Imagine actually like trying to pirate Beam and G. Like Jesus, dude. Like Beam, like, like eat. Like, I remember like, like some people were like wanted to get like automation or Beam and G for free. But the thing is, like, the games are still a work in progress. <laughs> So I'm like, dude, really? Like, it's just scummy. Oh boy, my dinner, it might be ready. I might have to go early before we actually get to road test this. Let's play some Beam and G Drive. Free room. 
Baja Hills. High speed road racing. With our car, we're gonna. The image has been a work in progress since like 2013, yes. But it's still. There's still stuff being added. Thing is, though. I mean, if you wanted to get like the no like the nostalgic feel for BMG and you want to get like a really really old build, then yes, I I feel like you should be able to you know try to get it. But like when you just try to go like pirate like like the latest build or like newer builds and all that, like like they actually let you know. Like that you're pirating the game, or you ha you don't have like an actual copy by doing the pirate thing. But still, I don't I don't think it's cool to try to pirate this game or automation. You're basically taking money away from the devs. So, we're just going to have the map load, and we're going to have a car. Oh, my Mitsubishi. Hello. Uh-oh. This actually has an interior that doesn't, you know, doesn't work. But uh, I think I think it'll be fine. So now you got the uh, ah yes. Yes, that's the name of the car. The Ibushi, the this is what happens when you get Germany and Japan to work again. Oh. It's quiet. This is an old tip. Hey. No. It, it's a, this is the inbred child of a Toyota Tercel and a Volkswagen Polo sedan. However, someone decided to take the inbred car and uh, make it make it like this. Which, I mean, it's actually, it's actually fast. This thing's a little pocket rocket. Oh. 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 Oh, boy. Alright. I can't really do, okay, I'm not gonna be able to really do much, because... I'm pretty just gonna have to end the stream now. But I one thing I wanna do beforehand is do one final jump at this. So, uh, thank you for watching the stream, uh, maybe I'll do this more often, I'm not really sure, it just depends on my mood, but, yeah, uh, we have the, uh, we just have a bad
car right here. Maybe, you, like, for a, maybe I should just go ahead and just get torched by you guys. Like, when I'm just bored, I don't know what to make. So we just make stuff like that crappy Civic knockoff. But, yeah. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, sticking around and watching this. I know I haven't uploaded lately, but, you know, it's been pretty much a month. But, you know, I hope you guys have a good day. That's all I need to say. So, uh, thank you guys for, you know, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.